Hey guys, um, eating some pumpkin seeds with um sunflower oil and cinnamon. Cool little combination. My homeboy Anthony really put me on to taste. He used one like I. Like Koopa really us growing up as best friends. That dude was so into food and taste. Like we love to eat. Like we all love to eat, but on a different level because he loved to taste. And I remember this one day recently me and Mike were working at Mike's crib that session and had Cooper come through, chef it up. Even as he was shuffling it up, this guy just brought like two elements together. I think it was like some cheese and salt. But the kind of cheese and the kind of salt it was. Brought out a certain taste from the cheese and made the salt less bitter in a certain way or whatever you want to call it. I don't, I don't know the terms. But I was like, whoa. Like it, it, it's amazing how simple elements, how they combine scientifically. Just make this part of your tongue. It's art, man. It's art, man. It's all this shit is art, man. There's some artistic motherfuckers out here. They ain't getting their shine. But he finally got, he's getting some shine now. He's He's been able to, you know, chef up uh, at some few spots um, in terms of head chef, which takes a while to get up to that level. But he had already worked at Versailles and already, you know, done other spots. And like, he's done the spots that people respect. So, I, you know, I could always just look at him and salute as my, my virgin. You know what I mean? Like, yo, you're doing, you're working hard. But, um, anyways, um, I don't even remember, how did I even get, oh yeah, cause I was just talking about what I'm eating and how it tastes, yeah, this is, this is a nice combination, homework, I think you'd mess with it, but I'm reading a story, but I'm hungry at the same time, so, um, first time I read it for somebody, I realized there's a lot of like, just mistakes in it, still. <laughs> I haven't written stories in a long time, because as much as I enjoyed it, I hate the reasons why I was doing it. So starting it was always difficult. But anytime I started, I could never stop. And as I was writing, that's when I would enjoy it. So I'd always enjoy the process, but I'd never enjoy starting it. I enjoyed starting this one, so I enjoyed this whole process. I never thought I could en really enjoy writing. Because I'd normally just write ideas and write things that are quick, quick things. But I um, started writing some things about my life. And then eventually this story came. Um, the story's not really about my life. I think it's about... I'm not even going to talk what it's about. I'm just going to... I'm just going to read it. It's called The Pit. Hold on, I'm almost done these seeds. Almost done. I'm, got, I'm almost like even going to put like a little thing to say like, you know, come like four minutes into the video. I'm just mad hungry. And I don't want to stop as soon as I start reading. <laughs> I know I'll be done in like four seconds. Alright. Here we go. There once was a village that was built in a huge pit. This village didn't have very much, as they were only limited to the resources immediately available in that pit. The people of this village were happy nonetheless. Each citizen worked hard together to further the, de the, de blah, 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 to further the development of their community. Until one day, a traveling scientist fell right into their pit. Right off the edges of the cliff down into the village. The scientist had traveled the world looking for the greatest ideas to implement back at his home laboratory. A scientist only slightly bruising himself from the large fall had a village at his mercy. They were initially afraid of him because he looked nothing like them. He looked nothing like them. 
but the village welcomed him anyways as one of their own. Understand, all previous travelers simply die from such a huge fall. Wait, you see, this is a mistake. Simply die from the huge from a, or whatever from the huge fall. As there no as there is no tangible way in or out. So I'm just uh, trying to read and clear. I shouldn't be apologizing because I chose to eat this and while I was I should have ate it before I started reading. Whatever. Here we go. Keep going. The people of the pit were welcoming and helped the scientist find his way around. From their perspective, he won't be leaving. The scientist was amazed at the amount of resourceful projects that had been completed by the pit people of little access. He immediately demanded to know who was in charge of these projects. The people brought him their architect. The Arctic the little the little ruler. Alright. The people brought him their architect. The architect was actually a two person team of twins, a brother and sister. The scientist being a male felt it best to be first blah, blah, blah. the scientist being a male felt felt it best to communicate with the brother first. The brother was excited but skeptical of why the scientist had interest in him. The sister was beyond excited as she never got the chance to speak to anyone else about the work she does as a twin architect. The brother was not impressed. He refused to participate in the discussion. The sister, the sister, the sister on the other hand, obliged to answer all of the scientists' questions. As their discussion was coming to a close, the scientists suggested he work with the village to help them build something so that the entire village could have a chance to see all the amazing things in the greater world. The sister was ecstatic. She had only lived in the village, and that was her world. To see more would literally open her mind to more, she thought. The brother had little interest of what other projects were being built around the world, as he still had many ideas himself that he planned to build here for his community. The sister reminded him that space in the pit was limited, and that he would be able to create much better things in a greater way for his same community. The brother conceded. So they began to work. They spent time training a new pair of twins to take their place, as they knew what they were limited to building would only be able to support the three of them back over the cliff. The scientists began to explain the physics of how to get out of the pit. And how exactly they could build this contraption for escape. See now the now I got the, the reading voice is here, it's here. So let's let's keep going. The brother thought he had a better idea from what the scientist explained, but nobody, including his twin, felt the idea would work because he was just an architect versus the traveling scientist. Finally the contraption for escape was finished. The three said their goodbyes to their village and set off to the greater world. Even as they left, they were able to see the entire pit from above. The scientist was able to show the twins this blah, blah, blah. the scientist was able to show the twins so much more than what they had previously known. The twins were impressed. It, it was time to go home, but something happened within that time. The sister and scientist fell in love. The brother decided he had wanted to return home to continue building his project, but his sister wanted to continue traveling with the scientists. The two had never been apart, so he couldn't know blah, the two had never been apart, so he couldn't now abandon her. He bargained with the scientists to let him finish their the projects he was working on, and then he'd be able to return to traveling with him. He bargained, wait, let me read that again. He bargained with the scientist to let him finish the projects he was working on, and then he'd be able to return to traveling with him. Or with them, it should be with them. Whatever, I'll just, I'm gonna send this to an editor. <coughs> oh, I ain't doing this shit. English is my second language, motherfucker. I'm pot pot, not not dog, not dog. Alright. Um, 
How will I know you're done, the sister? Man, I already smoked it, bro. I gotta roll the next one. Anyways. How will I know you're done, the sister asked. From above, you can see... Okay, so yeah. The brother said he's gonna, you know, go back and build his things and then, you know, they can come back. So now the sister is asking. How will I know you're done, the sister asked. From above, you can see the entire view of the pit. You know the projects I plan to compete for the village. So as soon as you see them completed from above, come back for me. The sister and scientist left. A few days passed and the brother was so empty by the almost rejection by his own sister that he lost his own will to complete the projects for his community. What the brother didn't realize was that his sister was an integral part of building, and without her, his, ad his ideas had no value to the village. The village was confused on what had happened. It had only been a few generations that had passed since the twins first left. Right, since the first twins first left. Maybe it should be for this one, whatever. But they were not that phased, as their new twins had already been positioned to be architects. Yearly, the sister and scientist would return, only to see the landscape slowly changing from above. I should be like, yeah, slowly changing from above, but never completely, never, never completed in the way the sister knew her brother wanted. She took it as a sign that her brother moved on. So she did too. The brother hadn't moved on. He even attempted working with the current twins to rebuild another contraption of escape. But he didn't know all the things that the scientists knew. So it took them much longer to complete this one. By this time, the brother grew old. Plus, the new architect brother lost all interest and went back to working his own ideas. There wasn't that much free space left to build in the pit anyways. By this time... An assortment of twin architects had developed to take over from the previous. The new sister of the new twins agreed she'd go along with the old brother to again find his own sister and the scientist. She too was also curious to see this, this greater world. So as a new set of twins took over their place, the new sister and old brother set off to find their family in the greater world. The new brother, now unable to work because his sister had gone, was now as determined to rebuild his own contraption of escape. He only needs the help of another set of twins to complete it. What should he do? That's my story. Hey man, if you have an answer for that, feel free to put it down below. I'll talk to you about it. Don't know. Peace.